Captain, congratulations on joining the ranks of the Red. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice Archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Yassin has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the Ark? Whatever risks exist, they are outweighed by this imminent threat. I agree. The request should be granted. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Uh, I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... What was that? Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. Incident? Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs? More attacks, just as predicted. Good God. Oh no. There, there must be another explanation. The, the creatures, 
evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti xeno squad, though, is off-world. Going to take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain, I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. Thank you.